So today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different from my normal ride videos. I'm going to do a how-to. The reason that I'm going to do this how-to is because I've been riding a lot of downhill parks lately and wanted to get a little bit of a better shock performance for my rear shock. Uh, to do this, I decided I was going to put a volume spacer in there. And so, of course, go to YouTube and start searching for videos on how to put a volume spacer into the Rock Shock Deluxe. Oddly enough, I couldn't find one. So, last weekend I dove in, spent some time and figured it out. Turns out it really isn't all that difficult. But I thought I'd make this video to help some of you guys out. And I think I learned a couple of valuable tricks. So sitting here we have a couple of the tools that we're going to need. Uh, 8 mil Allen wrench. We're going to need the volume spacers. And let's make sure you guys can read that. Three came in the package. I already put one in. And very importantly, you need a strap wrench. Having watched a bunch of the other videos, I thought I could just do it by hand, but it turned out I needed a strap wrench. And if everything goes well, you will not need this, but if it doesn't, it's a good idea to have some on hand. This is what Rock Shock recommends on their site. So... Let's get started here, and as always, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to let the air out of the shock. Let's see here. Press that down all the way with the valve held in to make sure that we got all the air out. All right, so the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to remove. end of the shock what this is going to do is allow us to leave the front end in the frame and that's what we're going to use to help us get some leverage and the reason that I'm doing that is because I don't have a soft vise. Now, Okay. So with the bolt loose, I'm going to compress it a little bit. I'm going to slide the rear triangle down just a little bit. And there are two washers that I want. So what I'm going to do is compress this a little bit. So 
line it back out and see if I can't fish out those two little washers, which does not appear like I can do. So let's compress that a little bit more. Put a little tension there. There we go. Bottom one hit the floor. <clears throat> there we go. We're going to set those aside. Okay, so I've got the bolt still here. We're going to use this to hold the shock in place while we remove the can. And that's where our strap wrench comes in. I'm going to slide the strap wrench wrench over the very bottom. We're going to hold that nice and tight. Secure the bike and give it a little twist. And one more little twist. That should be good. Now, very slowly. We're going to unscrew the can here. That's all the way. Give that a little tug. And our volume reducers are actually right up underneath this seal. Now, if you pull the can all the way off, you're going to have to refill it with oil. So by just sliding it down, sliding that uh, seal down a little bit, we can get at the volume reducer. So what I'm going to try and do here is make sure that you can see this. So I'm going to pull the seal ring down a little bit. And right up in here are the volume reducers. They snap right in. My shock came with two of them already in there. So adding the third was just a matter of lining them up and clipping it into place. Let's make sure we get a good shot of that right up in there. Take your volume spacer, slide it over the shaft, pop it into place and you're good to go. I'm going to let the can slide back up. Oh, I'm going to replace these guys. And let's screw our can back into place. We're going to take our strap wrench, tighten that back up. I don't think I mentioned before you can buy a strap wrench at your local hardware store. And you're just going to snug it. Definitely don't want to over tighten that. Next thing that we're going to do is compress the shock shaft here. Get our bushings back on and slide it into place. But that should be enough for you guys to get your volume reducers in and the Rock Shocks Deluxe.